Hey guys! This week on Must Have Monday, I'm going to be talking about eyeliner. So, eyeliner holds a special place in my heart because honestly, that was the first piece of makeup that I was ever allowed to wear um, and the first uh, item that I ever purchased. So, I just remember when I was younger in middle school, I was not allowed to wear makeup. Like, my parents wouldn't let me. So, I would always sneak my mom's eyeliner and I wasn't quite coordinated enough to get it close to the lash line on my top lashes. So, I would just wear it on my bottom lash line, but I would like really, really get in there. So, I'd have just like super thick, dark under eyeliner, which I thought I looked awesome and my dad used to call me a raccoon and I was like no dude you don't know what you're talking about like I look awesome um and <laughs> it would just be all down here just super dark <laughs> but um so the first thing I want to talk about is pencils because pencils were like my first introduction to eyeliner so my favorite favorite pencil liners at the moment are um the Milani liquify line and I'm just gonna say the line for this because honestly you can't go wrong with any of the colors you get from this line I have black and I have brown and I love them both they're great for using in your waterline because they do not budge at all and they're very 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 dark so I love that they're so pigmented and I love it and they have these are considered metallic but they're not the black and the brown are not the colored ones are have a little bit more of a sheen to it um, I highly recommend trying these if you're into pencils or if you just want a pencil um, eyeliner. You would definitely should check out the Liquify line. They're amazing. The next one is L'Oreal's Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. And I love this because I don't typically like thick eyeliner pencils because they're so big and you really can't get um, a skinny line. But when you sharpen this, you can still get a very skinny line. Um, also, it is good for a thick liner if you're doing a really smoky look. It's easy to get your whole lid with this because it's so big. Um, I feel like it blends out really well so it does give you that nice smoldering effect. So this is great and a must have for when you want to do your smoky eyes. Um, love, love this. And this is just in black as black. And I don't know if they have any other colors in that line, um, but I would be interested in them if they did. Like, especially like a navy or a purple. The next one that's also a pencil, and I feel like it's kind of a necessity for everyone, is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I don't necessarily use this for as like an eyeliner on my, um, waterline or anything, because I don't really think white is a good color for my waterline. I get more nude colors. But this is a great pencil to have um, to use as a base for eyeshadow for when you're doing like a really colorful look. Um, it keeps your eyeshadow on and it really makes your colors pop. So I feel like that's why this is a must have in your collection. Um, the next one is kind of like the little hybrid between the pencil and, well it's a pencil but it's a retractable pencil so I kind of call it a hybrid. But this one is by Maybelline and it's the Master Drama and this one's in Purple Punch and I really, really, really like this eyeliner. This one might be the only one that I swatch because it's a color but it's a dark purple color right there and it's really really blendable and I love it and it stays put so I like that too um, I used it for some pop of color tutorials and purple just looks great with brown eyes so anytime I just want to do a little something fancy I'll reach for this one and it works really well and I heard this line is just a great line so even if you don't want purple they have black and I know they have navy um, so you can check these out what I'm going to be talking about is gel liner so on my transition into liquid liner I Discover gel liner and I was obsessed with gel liner that I use to apply my gel liner is this elf brush um, Angled brush and this is three dollars. I think it retails for three dollars. It's either a dollar or three um, I know their pro brushes are three dollars and it's just the elf angled brush and this is great for putting on um, gel liner because using an angled brush allows you to see exactly where your line is going. I also like using my Sonia Kashuk liner brush and this one I'll use if I'm just trying to get a little bit more of a thicker line and I'm not so concerned with making like the perfect wing line. And my favorite gel liners and that are must-haves in my opinion are the L'Oreal Infallible. This was my first gel liner and I just love it. I mean I've used it to death and it stays in place all them after work and after sweat and everything this liner is still there it's still on so it definitely lasts as long as it says um, it doesn't ever get like cakey or anything like that um, and I feel like if you are not so good with liquid liner but you really like the shine shiny look of liquid liner gel liner is gonna be your best friend um, it's just all about finding a good brush for application and I actually must say the brush typically brushes that come with products suck but the brush that comes with this product works really well the next one is my mica beauty um, 
Cosmetics gel liner, and this is also in black. And I hope that I'm saying that right. I know I've talked about this several times, but um, this is a great gel liner. It's super shiny. I just really love it. I actually got this in my Ipsy bag, and it's full size, so I feel like it was definitely a come up. And I've really been liking it. I'm going to link their website because this is not something that you can just purchase at the drugstore or Walmart or anything. Um, I'll link the website below if you're interested in trying their products because they have a really nice line of products. And the last eyeliner I'm going to talk about is my NYC High Definition Liquid Liner. This is the only liquid liner that I can use. Like, seriously. I'm terrible with liquid liner. All the other ones have, like, the flimsy tips. It just does not work for me. I end up, like, trying to get my line and I'm splattering um, eyeliner all over the place. But this is just perfect. It's got, like, a really sturdy marker. How, like, sturdy it is. So, do you see that? How it's just, like, not going to be all flimsy like that it's kind of like a marker and they're only like two bucks super cheap and it works super super well I mean I never really was good with liquid liner until I met this liquid liner and it does a pretty good job staying on I mean it's pretty cheap but it's not like I don't, I've never had a problem with it like coming off or anything like that so I really really like it it's a great find a great buy um, and you can find this at any drugstore so if you're not so great with liquid or you're a beginner to makeup I would highly highly recommend checking this out so that is all of my must-have eyeliners I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any suggestions for eyeliners for me to try please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to know what you guys think um, and I'll see you guys next time bye